welcome back to the Family Feud. We have the Broadus family at 163. The Kimballs, they got a score. Carolyn and Angela, Angelica. Okay, you know, somebody doesn't have some points, so I'm gonna double this round. It's still anybody's game. Top five answers on the board. We asked 100 women, which occupation has the sexiest men? The Carolyn. fire department. The fire department. One answer better. Modeling. The modeling. <laughs> they do. Right back. We're gonna, We're, gonna We're gonna play, Richard. Okay, they're gonna play. All right. You know, that's fine. We asked 100 women. Now, modeling is an occupation. Yes, it is. Yes. But usually they're posing as firemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or someone else, which maybe Slap. you can give me. The police department. <laughs> the police department. <laughs> <laughs> Candace, yes. which occupation has the sexiest men? Construction workers. Woo! Construction workers. <laughs> Connie. Yes. I've seen some sexy doctors. Doctors? Yes. <laughs> All right. Show me doctors. <laughs> Sexy singers. Singers. All right. Show me singers. Two strikes, Broadus family. Get ready. All right, Carolyn. You have two strikes. Now, 100 women were asked which occupation has the sexiest men. Oh, the NBA. Right? Okay, if it's there, you're still alive, and Joanne, I'm coming to you. Oh, <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, well, let's hope that the NBA is up there. Oh. Holy smokes. What do we got? A postman. Strippers. Stri strippers, postmen. Strippers. Strippers, postmen, always rings twice. Oh. <laughs> um, we're gonna say the postman. You're, you're going to say the postman, yeah. as opposed to strippers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Which occupation has the sexiest men? If it's there, you guys got those points, and you've kept the Kimballs at zero. We are looking for the United States Postal Service. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Thank you. And number five. Uh, All right. The Broadus family at 163. The Kimball's at 82. But it's still anybody's game. Don't go away. We're coming right back. I, how come game shows wasn't up there? Welcome back to the Family Feud. The Broadus family at 163. The Kimball's. At 82, Joanne and Michelle. How about I triple the points? Yeah! I don't ever do that, but I thought today would be different. <laughs> All right. I'm only going to read this once, though. Top four answers on the board. Name something everybody knows about Cinderella. Michelle. The glass slipper. She wore glass slippers. Okay, they're playing. No give. Boy, those shoes must have been, you know, I'd take them off too. Her wicked stepmother. The wicked stepmother. Lily. I'm gonna say that she had a fairy godmother. Yes! A fairy godmother. Uh, oh! Okay. Everybody wants a fairy godmother. 
How about the handsome prince? Yes. yes. The handsome prince. Oh. Two strikes. Okay, we still get it. You got this one, Angela. She traveled in a pumpkin carriage. A pumpkin yes. carriage. Yes. All right. If that is there, Michelle, I'm coming to you. If it's not there, they get a chance to steal those points. And they need them because they only have 82. So we're looking for riding in a pumpkin carriage. Oh, boy. She had to be, okay. she had to do all the work. She, she had, had, to, be had to be home, home by, by midnight. She had to be home by midnight, Richard. She had to be home by midnight. Yes. yes. Something that everybody knows about Cinderella. Okay. Well, she had to go to the ball. Yes. That's something. But she had to be back by midnight. That's right. Or the pumpkin carriage. Carriage turned to the pumpkin. Okay. If yes. it's there, you've stolen the points for the game. Okay from our champions of five days in a row. Yeah. We're looking for Home by Midnight. <laughs> Number four. Play Fast Money right after this. Don't go away. We're coming right back.